hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video is definitely gonna be one that i haven't done before it's gonna be a little different than all the other ones but it needs to be done so as i briefly mentioned in one of my vlog videos of puerto rico something happened at the car rental place that completely threw off our entire plan i want to let you guys know and i want to make this video so that way you guys are aware and you guys don't make the same mistake that i did which was prepay for a car rental on expedia i have been using expedia for years and i've never had an issue and i usually do like the reserve now pay later but in this case the when i went to go rent a car for puerto rico everything was so expensive except for the option of just paying now and then not having to pay anything at the counter i was gonna get the car for four days it was 244 dollars and then i decided to get the 11 dollars a day collision insurance just in case because it was my first time driving by myself in puerto rico just in case anything happens to the car it's scratched up dented whatever it's covered so i ended up paying 280 dollars immediately on expedia exactly a month before my reservation so i prepaid the car rental on november 3rd i also want to mention that right before we we're about to leave to puerto rico i couldn't find the credit card that i used Used to make that reservation and i started freaking out because i'm like oh my gosh what if they need a credit card in order for me to rent out this car so i'm gonna go over there for no reason we're gonna end up getting stuck so i called the rental place around 7 p.m december 3rd and i was like hey just letting you guys know i don't have the car that i use on file can i use a different card can i use my debit card for you guys to hold the deposit and he was like yeah that's fine we accept any form of payment i'm like great sounds good no mention of what was gonna happen to me when I got there. Fast forward to when we actually got there at four o'clock in the morning, we called the shuttle bus. They came, picked us up, took us to the car rental place. So the name of that car rental was Routes Through Allied Car and Truck Rental Company. Apparently Allied is like the bigger one. Routes is just like one of the many car rental places that Allied owns. The shuttle bus driver dropped us off in front of the route. I go up to the counter. I'm waiting. First of all, I'm waiting like 25 minutes for somebody to even just show up. And I'm like, where are the workers? I'm confused. There's like a bunch of people outside. I'm like, why is there so many people outside right now? And maybe we're just waiting outside, literally outside, sitting on their suitcases. And I'm like, that looks weird, but okay. It seemed like they were waiting for the car rental place that was next door, so I was like, eh, nothing to worry about there. So finally, the girl comes in, and she was like, hey, sorry, I have to tell you something. Oh, we don't have any more cars. I don't have a car to give you. And I'm like, excuse me, what? I was like, I made this reservation a month ago, and I already paid for this car. What do you mean you don't have a car to give me right now? It is four o'clock in the morning. I am with my seven-month-old baby, and my 78 year old grandmother it's four in the morning we've been traveling all night you don't have a car to give me and she was like no i don't um you know what i'm gonna print out the receipt of how much you pay for the car and you could take it next door they have a bunch of cars that they can give you and they'll honor this price and i was like what are you talking about honoring this price i already paid for it so you're telling me i'm gonna have to go next door and pay for it again because you don't have a car to give me and i'm like give me my refund like and she was like no i can't give you a refund because expedia has your money you have to call them and tell them to give you the money because we don't have your money here and i'm like are you joking so expedia has has the 280 dollars i paid for this car rental you don't have a car to give me you're telling me that i have to go now next door and hope and pray that they have a car to give me when there's like 20 people outside sitting on their suitcases so it's the, like i'm so confused right now i don't understand how you can make this reservation and not tell me when i called last night to ask about the the, the credit card situation you could have told me hey by the way we're like we're running a short our car so we might not even have a car to give you because then i would have immediately called another car company trying to figure it out or i would have never gone in the first place like it's four in the freaking morning my baby is crying she need to change her diaper i need to change her outfit my grandmother is is tired i'm with an old lady and a baby and i'm like oh my gosh I have, I have to figure this out right now what are we gonna do i'm in communication with my aunt and i'm like hey there's a strong possibility you're gonna have to drive two hours over here to come pick us up because i don't know if i'm gonna get a car and she's like well let me know we'll head out soon whatever either way we were gonna be stranded there for a minimum of two hours there's no chairs in this place there's no chairs no nowhere for you to sit down and that's how everybody was sitting outside on their suitcases i'm like oh my god i can't believe that this is happening right now so i go and i talk to the guy and i'm like do you have any cars left like are you gonna have any cars left by the time you get done giving everybody that's outside a car and he was like let me go check really quick that entire time my anxiety was through the roof i was like oh my gosh like i should have never came on this trip like this is crazy and i started regretting the entire thing like i was so scared for my baby like i'm like oh my gosh we're literally stranded 
in the middle of basically nowhere i have no car like no way of getting to my aunt's house worst comes to worst we're just gonna end up having to pay for a hotel call an uber to take us to a hotel like it was just too much so the guy the guy came back and was like okay i have gonna, i'm gonna have three cars left and there was literally three of us like and i was like okay perfect just give me the car like i need to go like i'm tired by this time it was already 5 30 in the morning i have to go like just give me the car so thank god he gives me a car it was a beat up car it had scratches all over the place and apparently they were just giving literally everything that they had on the lot and i was like i do not care if it can run and it's in good condition it's not gonna break down on me just give it to me i don't care how it looks i don't just just give me a car it was like six o'clock in the morning we finally head out and by then i lost my voice i wasn't feeling good i was coughing up a storm like it was like the anxiety was literally eating me up and like shutting my body down and i still had to drive the two and a half hours to my aunt's house and the gps was taking me through these crazy mountain curbs where there's nothing there's no bars on the side of the road so if i slipped up for two seconds we're going off the cliff like that's how intense this drive was it was like the worst start to my vacation and it just messed me all up so fast forward to today i'm currently fighting with expedia i'm currently fighting with routes car rental company because i called expedia and expedia is claiming that routes is saying that i never went to go pick up the car in the first place so i abandoned the reservation therefore they don't have to give me my refund so they're trying to hold on to my 280 dollars by saying that i never showed up to get the car i went to pick up the car and they did not have a car for me and i ended up having to go next door and pay 250 dollars for another car and then they took a 250 dollars deposit so they took 500 dollars from my account which was basically all the money i had for puerto rico because i wasn't expecting to have to repay for a whole car all over again and i have proof that i paid for another car so why would i pay for another car if i already had a reservation that i paid for a month ago and they're right next door to each other so it makes no sense why they're trying to say that i never showed up so i'm like okay i called the guy up on the routes and i'm like hey expedia saying that you guys don't want to give me a refund because i didn't show up they're like oh no that's not the case like send me your information about so i'm talking to them expedia saying no that they're talking on my behalf and routes is saying no but routes that i have to talk to expedia because expedia is the one who has the money so somewhere along this whole mess somebody does not want to give me my money i'm currently now fighting to get my money back for a car that they did not have to give me so highly do not recommend prepaying for a car for expedia just in case this happens and if you do do it make sure that you get a signed paper from the lady at the counter saying they do not have a car this is the date this is the time signed signature they had to cancel the reservation because they did not have a car to give you and if i was in my right set of mind i wasn't exhausted i didn't have a baby i didn't have so much going on at the moment i would have done all that but at the time i wasn't thinking about that all i could think about was that i wanted to get my baby to a safe place because we were not in a safe place that's where i'm at right now i will keep you guys updated on my refund they better give it to me they are gonna give it to me they don't know i'm gonna keep calling every single day until they give me this refund we called the credit card company and we we're just disputing the charges and the credit card company is running their own investigation i remember clearly seeing that the place had cameras so if worse comes to worse and i will be suing them that was my horrible experience my first day in pr and it sucked so bad it just set the mood for the rest of my trip so yeah that's what happened to us at the car rental place i will keep you guys posted on what happens just letting you guys know this information so you don't make the same mistake that i did thank you guys always for your love and support and i'll see you guys in my next video